think it's going. Yeah, it's going. No glasses, no teeth. It's a hot mess, but I think I can see now. <laughs> Uh, you guys, hi! It's been forever and a day. I have been super busy painting. Painting, painting, painting. Y'all want to see what I've been painting? So there's um, quite a story about this, this little guy. And I will show him to you. He does not have eyeballs in. And what I did was I put... I put this really cute little hat on him because he's going to his mommy uh, bald and the rooter is running behind just swamped so I really wanted to get this this guy to her so this short story is that of a friend of mine that I I um grew up with and went to school with when we were very young um you know we all grow up go live our lives and then somehow facebook came around and that's when you kind of start reconnecting with friends acquaintances people that you knew when you grew up um so she had seen some pictures of dolls that i had posted on my facebook page and she reached out to me and she said, could you please make a doll for my mom? So her sister passed away. This would be her mother's daughter last year, maybe a year and a half ago, um, very suddenly. And it was, I just can't even imagine. I can't, I can't even imagine. Um, what they were going through and still going through because it is pretty fresh but um because of covid the, the, her um this the woman the sister who contacted me they live um uh, they do not live close by so the the parents do her parents do they actually live right around the corner from me um so I had to make this happen for her, so I, sh we went through kits and kits, and, and she picked out this little man. I don't know if you can see. I don't know how the lighting is, but this is Liam by Bonnie Brown. Um, he will, so I'll bring him to her house on Christmas Day. I'm gonna have a box opening, all that. Um, she knows that he will be taken away to get hair and brought right back, but. She really wanted um, to have him there for her, um, you know. So there he is. I had a blast painting this guy. Just a blast. So I'm waiting on his eyeballs. I have to root him some lashes and put him together. But that's kind of, that's what I've been doing. So that, um, I just wanted to show you guys. I'm very proud of him and I... Talk about no pressure, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, I really, not that I don't want all my babies to be perfect, but for some reason, this one had to be perfect. Had to be perfect. Um, so, yeah, she has a little boy. He's, I want to say he's probably two now, two and a half. Blonde, like curls. Oh, I can't wait to see him done. So that is one one thing I wanted to show you and the other things that I figured I might as well show you because I have been raving <coughs> about these diapers I found on Etsy no not Etsy oh these aren't Etsy it's <laughs> they're li they're called little lamb little lamb um, cloth diapers so they have different sizes and um, what I, so this is the diaper and this is the diaper cover. So I love these. These are like, they'll fit a newborn, easy. They're so soft. I believe they're made out of bamboo. Let me see. Yep. 
90% viscose derived from bamboo made in Turkey. So I bought one. This one's really cute. Has some little jumping bunnies on it. And then I got the same in blue. And I am going to be getting Ethan by Andrea Arcello any day, any minute. She's rooting his hair right now, so I am super excited about that. Um, and these have like little, little animals of some sort. And I'm blind. I am not wearing my glasses because, I don't know, when I'm painting, they kind of get in the way. Here's another diaper. This one is so pretty. It has little butterflies all over it. Piper loves butterflies and it's purple. And again, this is just the cover, so you don't even need to use a the cover. These are perfect. They're so soft. I'm going to show you here in a minute how they work um, on a a willow who is she's you know like a one month size two months it depends what clothes you buy this is a diaper i have to put on her because i mean i have to there's ladybugs there's ladybugs and more ladybugs and it's adorable so this will be the one i put on her i do also want to show you they have a new i completely discovered these because one of my dolls that I had purchased um, from a friend ahead of them last year. Um, had one of those diapers on the baby and I loved them and I had to have them. So let's show you. So these are from the same brand, I believe. Are they? No, these totally are not from the same brand. <laughs> Get it together, Annie. <laughs> anyway, they're very cute. So these are newborn um, cloth diapers that are super hard sometimes to find for uh, dolls, you know? Uh, because, you know, they're not going to pee. It's not like something you're worried about. Um... I mean, some of them pee, but you know what I mean? They're not going to, like, mess up a diaper. God forbid they start pooping. Okay. But these are super cute, super easy to put on. And I'll link the shops below. This, this was for sure on Etsy. Um... What is the name of the shop? shop? Baby Basics Cal. They're in California. So I just grabbed two. She was super, super sweet. And um, I got these very fast. So, uh, and they're very reasonable for cloth diapers. And I'm really happy with them. So what can we do now? So let's do this. Move all these diapers and hope hubby doesn't come up because he likes to go to bed at like six in the afternoon. Don't get me started. I need my own room. Oh, so here is little Miss Rory, who I just adore. And she's been here longer than anybody, which is saying a lot. <laughs> if you guys know me. A doll that has been here as long as she has is saying a lot. I love her. I love her more than any baby I've ever had. Like, what? It's crazy. So I'm going to take these off. I just want to kind of show you how these diapers fix, fit. I don't know. I just really adore her. She's not an addition baby. She's a prototype. Um, when Claire Taylor, she is Rory, 
by uh, Rory. She is Willow Sculpt by Claire Taylor, and she's the one of the prototypes. So that what that means is that Claire sculpted, molded, cast, painted, rooted, like start to finish. It's it's all Claire doing that. Um, and I just love her. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, so, you know, Claire Taylor, so she has a new baby out, um, a little small for my, for my taste. So I'll probably just wait to see if, you know, something else comes, comes through, but at least I can hold on to my pennies, you know, because, uh, the, those dolls are expensive. But I am just super blessed to be able to have this little one in my collection. And I just adore her. I love her size. I have decided that I like dolls that are bigger. Um, I don't know. They just seem super cuddly. Right? So let's take this off. I think she was just wearing an H&M top. Yeah, I love H&M. They're extremely affordable. Um, and the quality is amazing. Lately, lately it's been amazing. There have been times where, I, where I've questioned, but they seem to have gotten their groove back. So I'm going to keep this diaper on her because it's the same as uh this but what i'm gonna do is just take this out and put this on over give her some color yes if i haven't said this before her name is rory not sure well i do kind of know where that name came from but I just really liked it. And they just fit, like, so easily. And they're so stinking cute. And I just love them. Isn't that adorable? So, I like to keep her on this pillow just because I get so OCD when it comes to hair. You know what I mean? So what I'm going to put on her now is this little Mickey Mouse shirt. Because, I mean, who doesn't like Mickey Mouse? Where did, oh, I got this from Gap. I'm going to put this on. So what are you guys up to? Are you, like, getting ready for... I'm assuming y'all are getting ready for the holidays. I'm stuck up in here. I'm, I wrap all the presents, right? We went through so many presents, so many toys that we had to, um, we ended up just donating because with Piper and Piper being on the spectrum, it's really hard to know when she's going to be interested in a toy you know, or if she'll be interested in a toy. So, <laughs> so now just over, I would say over the past like month, even in the past few weeks, she, she has this um, speech device and I'm going to in clips, I'm in clip. I'm going to insert some clips of her on this new speech device. My toy. What do you think, Piper? My toy. No, we're just discovering this because it's the first time she's My seen toy. it, but. My toy. Oh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do, how they. She has Light. to carry. Light. Light. Has to carry it around with Light. her. Light. Light toy. Light. Yeah. Yes. 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 No. But it yes. is just like, <laughs> it's like her core board, but her core board doesn't speak. No. No. Doesn't speak. No. Yes. 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 
<laughs> what do you think? I'm so cool. Sajeski. Again. 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 Please. 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 Sunglasses. What do you think, Oscar? He's like, I don't know. Space. I thought that was really interesting that Colette said can we put it in her voice because it didn't even cross I didn't think about that what is she doing wow see she's going to figure this out before we do <laughs> light light sunglasses but the way she navigates the iPad, I mean. Pretty cool. Are you eating your chicken? <laughs> or the oranges? It's, it's like a new world for her, you guys. It's so cool. And because she's reading, she can spell out what she wants, even though they discourage that because it could take forever like she went to the device and she typed out chicken nuggets now it took her god knows how long to ch type out chicken nuggets you know because you got to learn where all the numbers or the letters are and everything but she did it and, and yeah you better believe we got her chicken nuggets so so it's basically a device that she uses to communicate um, if she needs something, if something's wrong, you know, it's her voice. It, it's her voice. And so when she's in ABA therapy during the day, that's what, that's all they do with her, um, with that device to, to make sure it's right for her. Um, and just, yeah, that's what they have to do she carries that thing around like it's part of her and that's what she's supposed to be doing she's caught on to it like i'm so excited and she's um i know a lot of people are afraid that if a child is using uh, some kind of speech device that it will keep them from actually talking but it's actually quite the opposite for piper because she's been talking you know, a lot of it's gibberish or words we don't quite understand. Um, this device has seemed to get her to speak more clearly and more often. And it's amazing. And it's only been, this is week two. And she's just, yeah, it's really cool. It is really, really super cool. All right, you need to, you are just, no, you have to. <laughs> They're all tangled in here, girlfriend. Uh, so, so the speech device has been pretty cool. But what was I saying? I was saying we, we um, got through, went through all her toys. Well, we, I say we, I went through all of her toys that were baby toys that just like because we never knew what she was gonna play with and all that stuff, and we just ended up packing up toys that barely played with toys brand new toys um and so we were able to donate i mean five ginormous garbage bags of of toys so so that felt really good and now there's room for more toys <laughs> which is what will be happening on christmas and and i'm really excited and the, you know last year was a crap Christmas because Piper was in the hospital for four days still again wouldn't be surprised if it was Rona but whatever um I guess you just never know it's just some crazy times but but we are really excited um I'm really excited to take some video the kids seem okay with it with sharing our, ho our holiday weekend with y with y'all so that's nice of them they're getting better at it <laughs> and um what else what else well i just wanted to show this little girl 
and um, say hi and let you know I'm still here. Just painting, 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 you guys, painting, because I got to get my business started and I'm going to be starting painting these silicone dolls in the new year. So I'm trying to just get uh, these custom orders for the Reborns finished so I can just really focus um, on that. And then somehow I need my own studio because I am sick and tired of painting in my bedroom. It's not fun. It's not fun. <laughs> so either need a she shed or... We have that, um, we have that, like, it's like a, a library kind of thing. That's nothing in there except kits that I haven't painted. So I'm thinking that might be a really good place to, to have a studio. What do you think, baby girl? Oh my gosh, you guys, Piper is, <laughs> she is hilarious. Like, she's something else, man. I'm going to try to get as much I can of her. Because she is, she's talking. She's talking up a storm, and you're, you're going to be able to start understanding what she's saying. A lot of it is in song. <laughs> as it should be. We should all be singing. Um... And she's just very happy. And right now, with all of the madness going on, all we can do is make our children happy. And I think we've done, done a pretty good job of it. I'm going to pat myself on the back for that one. A lot of hard work, but, but we are with them all the time. And that's what it takes, you know? It's what it takes, so... Oh, mom, but 10. I really, I'm trying to get back into the groove of making videos because I really enjoy it and I, I enjoy you guys. I miss y'all so much. So again, thank you for being so patient with me. Let me just button this girl here. And now I have to put, here, let's do it like this. I have to put the... Uh, well, Liam together. I hope she loves him. Oh, talk about pressure, you know? Oh. But the daughter seems extremely happy with how he turned out. And now the thing is also these aren't people that are in the community like she knew nothing about reborns or any of it until she saw the posts that i was making over the past few years of dolls that i had painted and um what the heck yeah we might have to fix this later and for someone that i went to school with to reach out to me to ask for this is quite an honor. It's quite an honor. Um, and I just really had to make him perfect for her, for her mom. So, prayers that he goes, that, he, that he's good and she's happy and Christmas Day delivery. Huh? I think it'll be good. I think she's gonna like you. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. I wanted to show you these diapers and this little man and this little girl. Don't mind the mess in the background if you see any mess. Um, and I've just been wrapping presents like cra crazy person. But we love you so much. And I have lots of videos that I've been taking. And I will um, have something pretty cute. And hopefully lift everybody's spirits over the holiday week. All right. Bye-bye, aunties and uncles and everybody. Oh, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I knew there was something else. Okay, so I bought this jacket. I knew there was something else. 
I bought this jacket from Andrea Arcella, okay? We will chat because she's doing this portrait sculpt of Piper, my three and a half, almost four year old. She invented this new jacket and I'm going to have this on her um, tomorrow, but it's called Snow Otter. Uh, basically, this thing is so cool, you guys. So if you look at the, it look, just looks like a jacket, right? It just looks like a jacket. You open it up. So, and the size that I bought was size 4T. Now in Chicago, it gets cray around here. So what happens is this jacket has um, pants, snow pants that come out of it. And I'm gonna show you how that works. Because it's very, very cool. And then they can go right back up in there. So she can wear the jacket like a regular jacket. Look at this. Snow pants. All right. So, snow pants fall right out. It's all attached. Can you guys see? I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have her put it on um, tomorrow. Either tomorrow or Wednesday. When it's a little cold and she's like home and you know what I mean? But these, these are so cool. So then, the mittens, you can unzip from here to take them off if you don't want to, but you can keep them on. So, you remember those gloves where your mom would, like, tie them together and put them through the back of you so they wouldn't, <laughs> so you had gloves and they wouldn't, like, lose them? Essentially, it's the same thing, but way cooler. Way, way cooler. So, here's the jacket. Okay. Snow pants. Very, very warm. And I'm in Chicago, so. And the gloves. Okay, and um, then you just put the boots on. But you can also. Let's do something. Oh, Piper, it's going to be so much fun. We're going to show you your new snowsuit. Here we go. So this is, I did some video last night and then it got cut off. But this is a snowsuit. This is, has been invented by Andrea Arcello who y'all know, who has now branched out into making uh, snow suits. I have to take these off. And take those off. <laughs> You're so excited. You're so excited. So basically it's all connected. And when I got this, the snow pants were inside this little pouch, right? And then you just unzip and you can take the whole snow snow pants out so they only have to wear the jacket so let's see oh it's so pretty orange orange you get to go in the snow that there is none of <laughs> Because it's like 45 degrees. No snow. It's 40 degrees outside in Chicago. Hold on. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my goodness. And this was, uh, I believe, a size four. And I think she'll probably be able to wear it next year. All right, let's try on the jacket. Pull, Pull up the pants. pants. Up. Pull up. 
Fold up the ensign. Good job. You're so cool. Put you in here. Good job. And see the mittens, the gloves are are attached. They don't have to be, but these are. <laughs> but you can unzip these, you know, and put whatever else on. Yay! Yay! What do you think? Put your arms all the way in there. Her arms aren't even in. There are not. <laughs> she took them out. You took your arms out? I, I would say it fits her perfectly. Get your arms in there. Oh, my glasses. Come on. There you go. All right. Oh, Keep your arms in there. Okay. Put that one all the way in. All right. Pretty cool. Zip up. I love the colors, Yay. too. Yay! You put the gloves on? Put your hands inside. Here, no, don't take your arms out. <laughs> Put your arms in there. Put your hands in there. There you go. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. But for parents that have children this age, younger, older, Mittens are a huge struggle. So these will just stay on there. But like I said, you can unzip them if you want to. But yay! What do you think? Do you love it? <gasps> Hi, baby. But it is super, super easy to use. Super easy to use and it fits her. And it's warm. You're gonna probably get warm, huh? There's a couple different colors to choose from. I will link um, Andrea's website to go uh, check them out. Show her some love. You guys, this is a really, really uh, awesome snowsuit. Yes, it really is. It really is, isn't it? Is this so cool? Is this so cool? You like your flappy arms? Say thank you, Andrea. Mwah. Thank you. Mwah. Say thank you. <laughs>